Lover. How's your weekend, man? Let me tell you something, buddy. I want hard than a motherfucker this weekend. But we here on a Monday. Had birthday dinners. I had a gang of birthday dinners, rage, business meetings, handling shit. Had Instagram meetings with celebrities, as I'm prone to do. And now I'm here. How's your weekend? Did you fucking whoop its ass? And now is it whooping your ass on Monday? Ain't none of, ain't all you need is a cup of coffee and some Tylenol. Aspirin. Fucking boss up, let's get it. Let's whoop this week's ass. We're gonna try a new game today. New game. New game, new game. It's called Bet on Judy. We're basically stealing. Keenan came up with it, but then remixed it, and it's kind of like we're just straight up Jack and Stern shit. Remember how they used to like bet on the fucking whores to see? They'd get like prostitutes and bums and ask them questions, and then they would guess to see if they got it right. Well, I'm that prostitute and bum. I'm the prostitute and bum where they ask questions, and then I gotta see if see if see if I get it right. Let me tell you something. Uh, they didn't even tell me if I got it right or not, and I'm gonna. I feel pretty fucking dumb. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that much. And you'll be playing for some underwear because... Did we give out them glasses? Not yet. Is it 9-5? They're nice. You gave me two frames. I don't know what they are. I just don't want to fuck up the name. Yeah, 9-5 eyeglass, I believe. Sunglasses. You can either play for underwear or 9-5 sunglasses. And now that we the team is all the way full, we're going to actually start doing more shit. I had this one idea for that me and John were going to do that he never did. Imagine that. Wheels are in motion, though. And that's all that, that's all that matters as long as the wheels... Our emotion. We're doing ask an expert. That's where we like find the expert and then you guys, maybe you're arguing with your girl about some shit. What came out first? What's the proper way to do toilet paper? Which I do know. I saw that. Like, is it, oh, I don't even know what it is where you pull down or you pull up on the toilet paper. What is the proper way the toilet paper is supposed to go in? You need to settle a bet, some shit like that. Speaking of toilet paper, one do blind people know when they're done wiping their ass? I gotta look, I look and see, that's how I check. Oh, don't think you're too good to look at your own fucking toilet paper like you just fucking, like you just vibe it out. Yeah, I think I'm done. That's enough. Three wipes, that's good for me. Like, sometimes you don't know, bro. Bring a blind motherfucker around, ask him that question. 888-742-3345. You call up. If you got a question that you need an expert to answer, you call up right now, 888-742-3345. Then we will go find that expert and get that question answered for you. 888-742-3345. Why? Because th- this is, look, man, here on the All Out Show it is a search for knowledge and truth at all times. When when you say All Out Show, I want you to think search for knowledge and truth. Why are you laughing? I'm serious. Motherfucker. Chris over there sniggling and giggling. 888-742-3345. You need to ask an expert some shit. You fucking call up. We'll get it for you. We'll find, we'll track down that expert. We'll find. Oh, hold up. It's my shit. How do big chin mo- Fuck you guys. I'm so I'm so disappointed in your lack of fucking giving a fuck of this. You idiots. Oh, you're all experts on everything, right? There's nothing that you there's nothing you wonder. Fucking morons. Call up with a fucking question. I'm so fucking disappointed in you. The only question is how do big chin motherfuckers not stretch their shirt? I was really trying to come. I was really thought we were gonna That's better. Now the phone lines are lighting up. Did I not tease it right? Do you have a question? You need to ask an expert that you don't know the fucking answer to. So disappointed. I'll show. Don't go nowhere. We got a ton of shit coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. What up, though? All right, man, we're about to play a new game. Brand new game. Bet on Judy. That's where we got five questions that they ask me. We've taped these ahead of time. You ask me the question, and then... uh. The caller's got to guess where I get it right or wrong. You're betting on me. You're betting on me or you're betting against me. Three out of five will win you some underwear because that's what we have from Frigo. I, I wore them the other day. They're fucking great. There's like a pocket for your dick. Ladies, um, if you're playing, you probably don't want the underwear. We got nine five glasses too. They're like the, they're like the wire frames that are so popular right now. They listen to the show. So you fuck with us, we fuck with you. Bong bong. All right, so here's like here would be a test question. Go ahead, give it to me. Lay it on me there, fucking chin. Arachnophobia is the fear of what? All right, now you now the the player. Let's say Chris, you're you're you'll be playing along. Arachnophobia is the fear of what? Do you think I are you betting that I would know that or that I would not know that? You were you know some weird knowledge, so I'm I'm gonna guess that you would know this. Do you know this? 
I do know this. You'd have to be a real fucking idiot to not know this. <laughs> why would you? Why would you even give me this one? See, it seemed like a good one at the time. Alex picked it. I know. You guys, what do you guys think? I'm fucking stupid. There's literally a movie. <laughs> it's li- a fuck. It's the name of a movie. <laughs> About spiders. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fucking just. I don't know. It's a fear of spiders. <laughs> That's the that's the answer. That's the fucking got it right answer. Jesus Christ, guys. Nailed it. Fucking better. Do you want to give me a different one or is that is that all you got? Jesus, come on, man. You think I'm that I'm a, I'm a little like real talk, I'm a bit insulted. I'm fucking a bit insulted that that was the t- test question. Like I'm fucking just stuck on stupid right there. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, he's edgy. Oh, he's edgy today. He's edgy today. He's on. He's on one. <laughs> Fucking withdrawals as a motherfucker. All right. We're gonna play the game. Bet on Judy. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. I. I'll, I'm telling you this right now. The questions they asked me were harder than that to me, at least. At least as far as I'm concerned, the questions they asked me were was was harder than that, and I'm surprised on how dumb I felt. You want to play for some underwear or eyeglasses? You got your head and your ass covered. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Bet on Judy. Judy, it's a brand new game that we about to play. Don't go anywhere. We're going to play right after this song. And now, it's time to bet on Judy. Wow. Man, yeah, well, look at that. We got a new game. Fucking new games. And we got a player, Michelle from Florida. How you doing? Hello. Well, welcome to the show. Here is the game for you uh, and for anybody that's just tuning in. Last week, they asked me some questions. I uh, answered the questions. I don't know if I got them right or wrong myself. So you're going to be betting whether or not I got the question right or wrong. Okay. Okay, but I don't have to answer the question. You don't have to answer the question at all, okay? Okay. All right. Cool. All right, the first question, what well, you're betting on me, you get three out of five, and you win yourself some eye. Do you want men's underwear or 9.5 nine, nine eyeglasses? Well, it's Valentine's Day, so I guess I'll do that. Oh, well, look at you. for my husband. Fucking some, I don't know <laughs> if we're going to get it out in time, so. <laughs> it's okay. Here's some free underwear that I won. All right. Uh, the, first, <laughs> the first question they asked me. Who was the 35th president of the United States? Do you think I got that right or you're, wrong? You're really smart. I'm going to say you got it right because you, like, read a lot of books, sounds like, and you're always very wise. Do you think that I'm wise? And, I, and so you're betting yeah. that I got it right. Okay. 35th president yeah. of the United States. Let's see how I did. Who's the th- Who's the thirty fifth president of the United States? Oh my God, I'm a fucking moron. All right, hold up. Reagan was the fortieth. Carter, thirty ninth. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Ford, Nixon was in there. Oh no. Kennedy. Who before Kennedy? Ah, oh, fucking Kennedy. I don't know Kennedy. I got it right. You got it. Yeah. See, I told you that that little ba ba okay. that meant I got it right. Would it, play the right. play play the sound effect if I get it wrong. Oh, you get it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> That's my I'm stupid sound effect. Okay. <laughs> here's the next here's the next one. What three countries right. what three countries were part of the Axis powers in World War Two? Yeah, no, you didn't get that right. You think I didn't get it right? Hey, you bet. You're betting against. You're betting against the J man. You think I don't know the answer well, to this? Because that's like something that happened so so long ago, and it's not really like a common thing to know. Not something that I spend my time thinking about. Yeah. Do yeah. you know the answer to this question? By the by the way. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't know it either. 
All right, what are the Axis nah. powers? You are betting against me. You get three of these right, you get some draws for your man. All right, let's okay. see. Let's see how I do. What three mm-hmm. countries was part of the Axis? You know, I notice because I'm Italian. I'm Italian. You got Italy, oh. Japan, and Germany. Raka, poco, poco, poco. Don't you bet against me, motherfucker. Don't you bet against me. <laughs> I should have known better. Come on now. I thought that one was a fucking softball right there. Uh, fucking Hitler and shit, Mussolini. Oh, my God. Bet on Judy. Are you, you bet against me? You bet against me once. You got it wrong. You paid for it. You fucking paid for it. This one is uh, this one's pop culture. In what year okay. was the first Harry Potter movie? Uh, that was a Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, you got you got that right. Do you think I got this one right? Yeah, you stay up on. I do. Like fuck. That. I've never yeah. heard you actually. I love Harry Potter. That. I love that little Hermione. Okay. She turned cool. out to be a little piece of ass, didn't she? <laughs> I, I live twenty minutes away from the ride that they have. I didn't even know they had a ride. Or Universal. That's gangster. I fucking, yeah. H- oh. HP's my guy, dude. I fucking love Harry Potter. All right, let's see how. Let's see if I got that one right. Oh shit! And what year was the first Harry Potter movie released? Fuck, son. Hmm. God damn it. 1999. This shit hard. Damn it. All right, I lost. Well, no, you just got two wrong. I, to be fair, I don't. It came out in 2001, and I don't remember. I don't remember much in my 20s. To be all the way real with you, from the heavy drug use. Yeah. But I fucking love that movie. Damn. And the second one was my favorite too. All right, so you got two wrong. You got to get this next one right to stay alive. Damn it. Okay. Are you ready? What f- mm, yeah. What former planet was demoted to dwarf planet in 2006? Um Damn it. You probably did get that right. You don't know you don't know the answer? Right. You don't know the answer? No. Damn, you dumber than me. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're not dumb, but crack, yeah, no, I don't... Crack a book like, already, Michelle. For fuck's sakes. I know. My husband tells me all the time. <laughs> 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 he does. Oh, Michelle. Like, I'll be, like, watching my Kim Kardashian, and he's like, what the fuck? He's like, read a book. Yeah, I don't... Per, perhaps this is time for you to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Um... Some people can afford to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So far, I don't think you you are, I don't think you should be watching that. You should be watching PBS. <laughs> all right. You don't know that. I do did, watch PBS uh, with my son. All right, good, good on you. What, Sesame Street doesn't count, motherfucker. Like, fucking <laughs> step it up. All right, what is the planet that was demoted to dwarf planet? Let's hear the answer. Pluto, because they was hating on Pluto. Can Pluto live? All right, it's impossible right. for you to win. Now you just now you're just playing for pride. <laughs> now you're just playing for fucking pride. You're so, no, you, but I said you got it right. So we got oh, did you? Oh, you better. Oh, oh, I was just betting I that because because you, you didn't right. get it right. My bad. I, I spent yeah, so much time right. criticizing your ass. Yes. All right, so you got two right. Two. All right, so what do what do we got? Two right, two wrong. This is it, bro. This is um, yo. This is it. This yeah. is for all the marbles, Michelle. I we couldn't have picked right. the fucking more. We couldn't have picked a more dramatic game to play. <laughs> Sodium chloride is most commonly called what? Did I know that shit? That is science. You definitely did know that, and. I don't even want to guess because you're going to fucking laugh at me. Why do you think I'm a, you, you want to take a stab at it? Peroxide. Oh, my God. But you think I knew, you think I knew it was peroxide? Okay. For the win. Yeah, you got it right. For the win, does Jude know the answer? Go ahead. Is that salt? 
I don't fuck. I I'm just gonna say salt because oh. there's sodium in that bitch, and that's what makes you fat or bloated. I've never felt so stupid in my life. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I got my fucking underwear. You won the fucking underwear. You're dumb as a rock, but you got the fuck. You're you're smart enough to bet on me. Five, four out of five ain't bad, and I don't feel bad about not knowing the Harry Potter one. That was the one. That was the that was the stupidest question they had. And I fucking love yeah. Harry Potter. Ninety nine, huh? What? Two thousand one? Jesus Christ, man. Fucking. Yeah. I'm the Harry Potter of the radio game. Don't you bet against me. You won. You won some un- you won some underwear from Frigo for you, man. It won't be Thank out in time you. for uh That's for Valentine's, right. but you won. You're a winner. What are we gonna do when you get off the phone? Stop watching the Kardashians and crack open a fucking book for Christ's sakes. Well, Michelle. I'm gonna I'll buy your book. You still you didn't buy my book yet. It's been out since fucking April or September. I hate reading. Oh clearly. <laughs> <laughs> fucking clearly it's on audiobook too you won it doesn't matter whether or not you hate it reading you went with your gut you won and uh thank you for playing bet on judy thank you i'm gonna put you on hold all right let's go you are checking out the all-out show with rude jude on demand like whoa what's on there all right did you miss any of the show did you miss last week who we have last week? I don't, I don't want, Don't ask me shit on Mondays. I'm fucking dumb. I know we had Scarface a week before that. Oh, we had Tech Nine on Friday. He was awesome. We're going to be talking to all these fucking classic rappers. If you missed any of that, you can go to ondemandserious.com forward slash ondemand. I think you got to pay extra, but like... If you're fucking just kind of good at negotiating... You might be able to get it for free. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You want to re? You want to re up? I don't know. Fucking do some negotiations. If not, pay extra. It's worth it. It's just fucking worth it. You can listen on demand, a la carte, if you will. Over and over again. So a lot of you know, I do these readings. A lot of these cats are like, hey. We just fucking stock up on your show, listen to fucking six hours in a row on the weekend. Boom. Done with the shift. Not mad at that. You can do that. You want to check out my fucking uh, memes? They're awesome. One more Jude on Instagram. Rude underscore Jude on Twitter. And Snapchat, which I'm rarely using just because I, I fucking, it's getting worse and worse as we go. I don't know what you're doing, Snapchat. They're a ve- they're they're somewhere down on Venice, just fucking smoking pot, ruining it. You guys, you guys are doing so good until you weren't. Uh, but if I have naked chicks on, you'll that's where you'll see them on Snapchat. Root underscore Jude. Uh, little Mayo's coming up next. Internet sensation. You'll hear the story behind Low Mayo, my man Alex. The the mind behind Low Mayo. Started off working in a factory. Next thing you know, came up with the internet character. Fucking IG sensation. Now he's out here balling his ass off. He actually snapchat at me like just some girls, just some chicken bed. Some hot chicken bed. I'm like, you fucking beast. Fucking A. So, you'll hear the story behind Lil Mayo. That's coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Say forty five. I'm here with the internet sensation Alex Martin. What's up, dude? You're the you're the you're the fucking man behind Lil Mayo. Yes, I am. Get up Father. on that mic. Get up on that mic closer. Yeah. All right. So for cats that don't know, Lil Mayo is he's like an Instagram. He's got like a hundred. Wait, one point five million followers. About on, that. Yeah. One point four. You know how fucking annoying that is to me. Like, you know how hard my meme game goes. Oh, you go hard. Yeah, I know. That's how I found out about you. The meme game. The meme game. I know, but Lil Mayo's just crushing me. Like, he's like a little alien that's just fucking me he's up. He's nothing. He's I a piece of silicone. I, tell me about the All right, so Lil Mayo's a fucking alien that just finds his way in. Like, he's usually jerking off or, like, 
going higher with, with bitches and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, we just, I mean, it started from me just buying it on eBay. It's like a vintage movie prop. How much you pay for that? The first one I paid seven fifty, but so, then the first one got like so fucked up that I had to get another one because I didn't I didn't really take it seriously at first. It was just yeah. like a joke. Where were you at? Uh, Boston. So you was out. You was out on the East Coast. You buy this little fucking a doll. Yeah, like, like, like an I was alien bored. Doll. I was working a full time job. What were you doing? Building cabinets for my father. So you're like a carpenter, kind of. But I was like working in the the factory. Okay, and like. Running all the CNC machines and I love this shit. You a factory guy, just a yeah. factory kid. I was just building cabinets for my father's company, and I was so bored that I bought the fucking alien, made it an Instagram account, and then it it kind of just popped off. How you come up with the name of Lil Mail? Well, like uh, the whole uh, theme of the thing um, originated from the A L M A O meme that popped off in like 2012 what is that explain i'm it's like I'm old so. it's like from tumblr it started okay. from tumblr and it was like um like it would be photos of aliens on like whatever photo of an alien and then it would have this text next to his head a y y l m a o yeah yeah and uh i just thought that shit was hilarious at the time so i was like fuck i could i could just buy an alien and make my own content with it you know what was the first what was the first movie you did with it? Uh the first video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I made a like I made him a Snapchat and uh then Yeah, and you're loyal to Snapchat. Yeah, I'm fucking I love Snapchat. I don't understand yo, bro, I don't understand this shit, man. I be losing messages like a motherfucker. Yeah, no, I can't keep I, track of anybody. Yeah. You know, I, you know how much I pussy I lost out on that motherfucker? Why, the Instagram? On fucking Snapchat. Like chicks will hit me up like, what's up? And then I just lose them. Why? Because I don't get my messages. Oh, you don't get your shit? Why? I don't know. I think people fell off of uh, Snapchat. They go to Instagram story now. They kind of do, but even if they didn't, like, I'm not getting my messages, bro. Like, What's I, up with that? I, like, when you hit me, mm -hmm. like, I didn't, you saw it took me days. Yeah, to get yeah. Back. I just, that's, that's how long do it took. Do you open all your shit? Yeah, but it just, it won't load. Oh, weird. I guess that's boring to people that were discussing the fucking technical, yeah, the, the technical know, aspects of this shit. But like, it's really, you must. Are you getting laid off a little mail? Yeah, I mean, I, I've, yeah, I mean, dude, girls like slide in the little mail DM, not knowing who the fuck's behind it. Yeah, and then like when we like we'll meet up. We've met up before through DM. And, like, they're like, oh, I'm in L.A., blah, blah, blah. And then we'll meet up, and then they'll see me and be like, what the fuck? Like, would they think it was going to be a fucking alien? I know, I guess. I don't know. Have you thought about renting out Lil Mayo for pussy just to be, like, to, <laughs> to your homies? Like, you can actually pimp out. You could pimp backwards where you're, like, you let chicks slide in your DMs, and then, like, you got, like, an ugly homie and be like, look, man, you can say you're the creator for, No, that's for the totally night. an option that, that I'm sure that could go down you don't need that though You're, you must 1.5 million how do you make your money off of uh merchandise and like uh song i do song promo like i'll use a, people like record companies or whatever will pay me to use that song whatever they're trying to pop off at the so time smart yeah. i asked you to do the fucking throw the book on there was that that was I, that's me matt i didn't realize that i was like asking you to fuck with your money Oh no 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 no! It was I. I gave the book to him to read. I started reading it. Then he took it from my house one night when I was passed out. And, You're fucking up my shit, and dude. And he brings it to Colorado, fucks it all up, makes it all ugly. I get I get enough. I just need a picture of Lil Mayo on your fucking thing. Just that's all I need. It's not that you got deep, another Alex. Book? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, it's not that fucking deep. No, if you see this book, it's thrash. It's been through hell. The fuck did you? You're fucking up my this... mutt. Your boy's f wet. You're fucking up the dough, dude. It was an intense read. It was in his fucking pocket for six days straight. <laughs> People need to know about that. Lil Mayo needs to read that shit. I just need Lil Mayo to be reading it and then go fuck a bitch. That's all I need. All right. In my life. We'll make it happen. God damn it, Alex. When did you move out here? Uh, Two years ago. So two years ago. Because of this. All because of Lil Mayo. I've never been to L.A. before that. Uh, The reason why I moved out here was because... Uh, the owner of Rip and Dip Clothing, okay. he like DM'd Little Mayo, and he's like, "Yo, let's do a fucking collab." And I was like, "I'm down." And he's and then he like literally next day he bought me a ticket out here to like shoot shoot the shit. Yeah. 
and uh, he got me like a sick Airbnb, and I stayed here for five days, and like, I never would have ever came to L.A. if it wasn't for that. This is gonna sound weird, but like, do you do you ever like play with children and like do like hand puppets and nah, they, and they fuck start? No. no, I mean like back in the day, like you like hey, like a, a nephew, like hey, look at me, and like people <laughs> will start talking to the hand and not to you. Or do you feel like people have just talked to Lil Mayo? Yeah, and not to you. Weird. Like, like it's weird. It's weird. Like I've, I'm in so deep now, where like I'm carrying this doll around and I don't even know I'm doing it. I'm just like, like it's it's just like instinct now for me, and it's just like. I'm not thinking what I'm doing at the time. I'm just like, all right, I'm here. I'm here to bring this to this party and make money or make content or whatever yeah. the fuck. But what was your favorite video so far? My favorite? Was it the jerk off Either one? The jerk off one or the Ferrari one? I didn't see the Ferrari. Yeah. The, the jerk off got to me. I was like, damn, this shit is wild. Yeah, yeah. That one was that was a good one, but Emma New Pants was like fucking starstruck by you, my homegirl Emma. Oh, with the I fat know. Ass. Yeah, she yeah. was like fucking. She was starstruck. She was like, that was Lil Mayo. I was like, I don't know. I just gave like, his homeboy GHB. That That's all I know. That's, I just, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> that was you? Yeah. You look different dressed up. Yeah. You look like shit now. <laughs> Put on a fucking collared shirt for fuck's sake. Try a little harder. Fuck, dude. <laughs> and you ruined the book after after all that fucking G I gave you. What a, he tried to swig the whole thing and you yelled at him. Yeah, dog. I was like, he's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. That's in the book too. Yeah, yeah. You so yeah. Now you understand. Yeah. I was like, fuck no, dude. Put that down. Put that the fuck down. He's about to drink the whole thing. And Lil Mayo doesn't have a voice. No, I mean we we just recently did this thing with um with Super Deluxe, it was called Cheap Thrills, yeah. and it's a show, online show on YouTube or whatever. They make, like, bootleg fuckboy shit, like, hype beast shit. Yeah, yeah, And so they made, like, an off-white hoodie together, and, like, it's kind of like an instructional video. Yeah. And um, they gave him, like, you kind of needed a voice for that. Yeah. And so they gave him, like, they made, like, this funny-looking, like, transcriber thing with an antenna and blinky lights and then like a burner phone glued to it and it looked like a like an Obama like, phone? Like it looked like a like a translator. So like um like every time Little Mayo had to say something we had like a mic thing and we'd have his hand like go up to the mic and talk and then it would like sound like a um was who's that dude in the wheelchair? Oh, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking, yeah yeah it was sound like that. <laughs> he looks like him right now. He's yeah. like leaning with his head broke. <laughs> Fucking low mayo. How do, is do you see anything bigger like television, yeah. movie? Yeah, I've talked to um I've talked to Vice. I've had a few meetings with them. Like I'm that's like kind of my goal right now is to jump into the whole TV shit with them cuz it's yeah. like people people fuck with the video the most. Yeah. Like the the crazy shit that we do with it most. So if that could be branched out into some type of like YouTube webisode type shit or for Vice or Viceland I could see it on or Comedy Central or Adult Swim. It's such an interesting story. I never would have thought, you know what I mean? Like not in a million years. Like, all right, this dude's just fucking around like, fuck it, I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm I'm working in a factory. I'm, I'm bored. Yeah, I was, I, I mean, I was planning on taking over my father's company. I was like working there my whole life. And um, I wasn't in love with it, but it was like it was doing well. So I just thought this was my ticket to like have a. Let me ask success. you this: Is your dad disappointed? He's like, "What the no, fuck?" No, he fucking um, loves what I. Well, right. like we when when I first quit. Yeah. Um, I start because I started making money off Little Mayo, and at the time, I think you only had like, like. 70k on instagram but yeah. i started like making money off of like promotional things and sh people started hitting me up and um yeah i i kind of like i left oh i left my job and um i did like me and my dad kind of had it out for a couple months and we didn't talk for a couple months he's like you're leaving for a puppet yeah he just didn't know and then like a few months later I decided, or like a couple months later, I decided to move to LA, and th then they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was just, I don't know, I just, 
I just had a gut feeling that I had to move out here, and then I did, and then it just fucking pop up, popped off. What was it like meeting Rihanna? You did it. We, you did. Well, I you? wasn't even there. I had. I had. Um, Whose forehead is bigger, Lil Mayo's or Rihanna's? I, I don't know. I think they're. <laughs> I'm playing. Very I fuck similar. With, I fuck with Rihanna. I want to. I, I want to. I, I really want to smash her. I'm just. I'm just fucking kidding. I was fucking pissed. I was home for the holidays, and they DM me the day of the party. They. They. Uh. Well, they. I have the contact email in the Lil Mayo bio. Yeah. And they, her management, uh, sent an email, and they're like, "Hey, we want Little Mayo to come to the Fenty party. Rihanna's requesting it. Get the fuck tonight." Out of here. And I was like, oh, "This can't be real. I didn't think it was fucking real." So I literally, I just called the number and the email because it said call me as soon as possible, and I called her and it was legit, and they. They were just like, "Can you come tonight?" And I was in I was in Boston for the holidays, so yeah. I couldn't come. So I was pissed, and I just had my buddies. I have a kid that I pay monthly on a retainer to like bob him around and bring him to shit for me if I can't go. And so I just I I had him go with my business partner Andy, that we do the clothing line with. They went together, so I didn't even get to meet her. But were there any techniques that you used to help go? viral and grow is there any like for anybody out there that's trying to like all right dude i want to follow this guy's business plan and yeah. fucking blow up on the internet was there like are you posting at a certain time of day are i you, think are i you, think i just made i i just made sure that it looked as real as possible in the videos yeah and um how long does it take to do a video i mean like shooting one it would just be like us fucking around for like a half hour but like then i'll then I I nuts. edit it all on my phone. Yeah, like on the iMovie app, and then I'll just chop a song into it and put whatever whatever else I want to add to it, like sound effects or whatever. Like the jack off video, I'd yeah. add all those fucking funny sound effects. But um, fucking amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Do you got your own? You got your own apartment now? Mm-hmm. Got my own apartment. Got my own office downtown, and I just bought a new car. Off a doll. <laughs> uh, which, which, what is it so people can follow so they can understand? Uh, it's little, It's uh, at Lil Mayo on Instagram, L-I-L-M-A-Y-O. And if Lil Mayo could talk, which he can't because he's a fucking puppet, he mm. would he would say thank you right he now. He would say thank you, yes. Yo, Alex. He doesn't really need it, though, because he's, uh, he's already got a bunch. But. Yeah, he yeah he doesn't need this. This is Lil Mayo's crushing right now, 1.5 million. <laughs> Damn, there's like legendary rappers and stuff that has like twenty thousand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Do you ever think about that shit? No, I, I actually, it just struck me a few days ago, like how much, like pull I have with shit. Like, I, I was just, like, my buddy was like, dude, you could get so much free shit with this fucking thing, and I was like, oh yeah, you're right. I just got this new car, and he's like, there's this, there's this app called Wash. Yeah, and uh, he was like, I think they have like a influencer program where you can get your car washed for free if you post them on their story and i'm like they like come to you wash your shit fully detail it and Bro. i just hit them up and they just they're already gonna wash my car i bet you you probably could have gotten a fucking free car i'm if, sure i you, mean you could have got a free lease from some place if you just put fucking little mayo you know in a volvo or some shit know, like mercedes that mercedes doesn't do that fuck him oh oh he's crushing with mercedes mm-hmm Damn, though, what the fuck am I doing with my life, man? I, I got to show up here every day. I got I to gotta fucking vault. You know what I mean? I got to fucking vault. Fuck That's yeah. not bad. They're, they're, my shit chugs gas. The I'm vault's like actually about it very already. peppy. I actually really, I really enjoy the ride. Really? A, it is a peppy little ride, that vault. It's great for around the how city. Much you get, how much you get paid to promo that thing? I get zero. <laughs> I get fucking zero. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, I you get, get a contract with them? No, I should. I get the GM discount because, you know... I come from a GM family. There you go. But they, so that's that's pretty good, I guess. That's tight. I feel like you're like low key dissing me right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Which is cool, man. Yo, Alex, it's congratulations on everything. I love I, I love I love to see people get it their own way. You know what I mean? Like, what is what a fucking unique way to fucking go get it? This, you can do anything here if you grind hard. It's crazy. Yeah, it should that should definitely prove the point that you can literally do anything. How long did it take to get to seventy thousand? Seventy thousand? Yeah, one like, like three months. Three two months. months. Yeah, because yeah. I I mean before 
I was just posting photos. I didn't really get into the video shit. The videos were and what? The videos, the videos were what popped off. And, uh, like, when I posted this video, it was, like, it was like just a... Uh, like a bunch of old Snapchats I took of them, and then I yeah. put it all in a video. I added it all together and put a song to it. Is there then, anything you won't let them do, like smoke crack or anything like that? Well, I've I've kind of like I've kind of pulled away because I would I've pulled up to a party and people literally just throw coke up little man's nose, and I'm like, yeah, it's a doll. You know, it's like it's funny, but then again, it's just like it's a waste. Look of coke. at all this coke all over this fucking doll's face. I'll wake up with it, and it's in its nose in the morning. I'm like, this is fucking nasty. And little male's yacked out of his yeah, mind. Yeah, he's yacked he's out of fucking, his mind. He, he won't go to bed. Open. Yeah, he's fucking, yeah. He's making plans with you that he's never going to follow up on. It's yeah. a real fucking pain in the ass. But I don't want to lose any, like, deal, business yeah, that's what I mean. You, over some cocaine shit. That's what I mean. You've gotten to this, you've gotten to this point where he's so big that he's kind of like, you don't want to, you, you want to be able to do, like, Tide Pods and shit like right, that. Right, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? stupid, stupid meme shit. I mean, I, yeah. Have you had him eat any Tide Pods? Nah, that's, Good. that's like some normie shit now. Good, don't do that. That's, nah. That's gay as fuck. Yeah, I never got into that. Nah, it's fucking normie. Normie. It's normie as fuck. You know normie shit. Yeah, it's fucking, yeah. is normie like Uggs boots? Is that Nor what? Like basic shit. Yes, yeah, basic, yeah. Damn, motherfucker, yeah. Don't do that. We don't need that. None of that. But that, uh, yeah, that first video that I made popped off because Black China shared it, and then World Star shared it, and then like literally overnight, I got like a hundred thousand followers, and uh, then I was like, then I started making the videos and putting more effort into it. It's crazy. American dream, dog. You can get it, and yo, it's fucking. All it takes is fucking little hard work, little luck, little persistence, some fucking creative thinking, mm. and you get at it. Who's gonna run your dad's cabinet company since you're fucking you got the puppet empire? Well, he didn't he didn't want it anymore. Oh. Like he was he thought I was gonna take it over, and so once once he knew that I had left and I wasn't coming back, he just liquidated and retired. Kind of got a got like a job doing estimating in the same field for another woodworking company without all the bullshit being a boss and like dealing with all the shitty now employees he's, living a life. he's happy he said little mayo saved his life <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna end with that yo alex good good to have you on here man do you got your own fucking instagram you want people to follow or is it just yeah, little mayo shit my personal is um alex dot martin m-a-r-t-y-n there it is, Alex Martin and, and Lil Mayo. Lil Mayo slouched over. He, he looks fucked up. He looks faded. He's like weekend at Bernie's on the fucking chair, doing it He's with the sitting, Guy Fieri. Yeah, the Guy Fieri. We got. We're dropping a Guy Fieri video. Uh, I think on Sunday. So fucking Flavor Town. Let's for go. That. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. What up, dope? Man, you are listening to the All Out Show. My name is Jude Anthony Angelini. Miss any of the show? Go listen to On Demand. I wrote a book. You can get it for fucking $2 on your Kindle on Amazon. You don't have Amazon? What the fuck's wrong with you? I'll put Amazon fucking television over Netflix. That's how good it is, that Prime shit. You need. You really need to get on that Amazon. And I got, I think I got like a constant order of dick pills just coming to the office all the time. Like I got horny goat weed up the fucking ass, bro. You know how much testosterone I got going on right now? So fucking much. It's good for you. Don't be a bitch. Where am I going with this? I don't know. Amazon. $2. You can get the Kindle of Hummingbird. Fuck you waiting on. What are you fucking waiting on? Go grab that shit. And everybody that already got it, thank you. I appreciate you. Hyena's out too. We got the news with John. With Jan. I don't know what he's going to talk about. I highlight stories and then he brings me stuff that I didn't ask for. That's kind of our deal. <laughs> yes, yeah, so earlier today I cussed him out for not follow, doing the story that I followed up. I wanted to follow up on Richard Pryor. Like, motherfucker, if we're doing a story, you need to follow the story. And then he showed me the paper and I didn't highlight it. And I was like, I'm sorry. And I'm sure that made him feel really good. But still, like, fuck him just on GP. Just on GP. All right, we got the news with John. I don't know what he's going to tell me. It's going to be a surprise to me as much as it is to you. 
I'm sure it'll be great. Do not go anywhere. It is an all-out show. News from the chin coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. Several ways that your penis could shrink over time. Not mine. I don't know. DFD, bro. DFD. Well, it looks as What's if... What's that? It's dick for days, John. I did not know that. Fucking I would not have guessed attention. that. I would not have guessed that. I know you wouldn't. Because you don't got it. No, I, I I, don't have a dick for days. There's no doubt. I don't. <laughs> know it. You don't behave like it. There's not an inner confidence. Oh, there's a quiet confidence, but it doesn't suggest huge penis. But at the same time. Some men can lose up to an inch off their... Whoa. Uh, That's a lot. I know. It is. Inch is a fucking lot, bud. So, on average, the erect penis, as we've talked about, it's about 5.2 inches. Although I've seen different numbers, but this particular study says 5.2. And What about you firsthand? What? <laughs> uh, with a girth of 4.6 inches. Look at that. I don't and, even know how that works. What do you do? Just go around in a circle? Right. All right. A flaccid penis, about 3.6. With the, Flaccid doesn't mean shit. That doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't mean anything. How you, how, yeah, that's all. This it's like put like a flaccid, flaccid dicks like rims on an Omni. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't do nothing. What are you gonna do with a flaccid dick? Mush it in her. Be like, Ugh, wait till I get hard. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But there's some ways you you lose your penis. Age, how aging? That's one. It just it shrinks. Damn, fam. And uh, sucks. one of the reasons is the buildup of fatty deposits in your arteries. It can reduce your blood flow. And therefore, your penis shrinks, your testicles, everything just starts to shrivel I'm up. I'm telling you, man, a fucking uh, horny goat weed has got me fucking ha- hanging on. Just letting you know. I I keep forgetting. I mean, that, I thought that was sex drive. It, it would, wow. All right. You're blood a fucking flow. moron. You're a fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> What do you think? You're the one taking horny goat weed as though it's doing something. Is it? I thought it was for sex drive. What do you think is part of sex drive, John? I don't know. Just out of curiosity. What helps one's sex drive? I I, well, blood flow now that you mention it. Wow, you're a fucking idiot. (laughs) So all over the okay. All right, what else? Give me another reason before you fucking just keep saying dumb things. Smoking. That's not even age. That's just smoking. Like, oh, like young smokers, it doesn't affect as much. I'm telling you, man, when I quit smoking 10 years ago, it's been 10 years since I quit. Gave me the dick of a 17-year-old. I just thought it was, I just thought I was getting, I just thought you get old and get tired easier. It was the smoking, man. It really was. How long until you bounced back when you started to notice? I don't remember. Uh, I do remember, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, hey, I'm going longer. This is crazy. I'm surprised. It was it, and it was dramatic enough where I was like, "I'm not gonna smoke anymore." Like this is fucking it's, wow! It's like it really made a difference. But again, they point to the uh, the blood flow. They're saying here it damages blood vessels in your penis. Damn, things like that. Medication that can uh, cause your your dick to shrink. Drugs that's like what, that's why I don't do it all, none of them antidepressant shits. Adderall. They mentioned that. I mean, is that all antidepressant or is that more? No, that's for focus. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a it's a nice way for people that are addicted to speed to fucking keep doing their drug under the guise of legitimacy. So these uh, Adderall, uh, you know, attention deficit disorder drugs, also antidepressants. Some of them, they uh, it looks as though those people they suffered from shrinkage and reduced sensation. Ooh. In the groin. Hey. Yeah. Weight gain. That's another one. Adderall gives you weight gain? No, no, no. no. I was Sorry. about to say, motherfuckers be skinny off of that yeah. shit. <laughs> Just another way that you're... But that's more of like a optical... Yeah, it's like the trees in the forest. Right. As opposed to a tree in just a field. It's going to look taller by itself. With no, no comparison. Prostate surgery. That'll cause some problems. What does that do? 
Experts don't know exactly what causes this to happen, but one theory is that a man may experience muscle contraction after the surgery and pull it further into the body. Oh, shit. Remind me not to get that shit. No prostate surgery for me, sir. Have you had one of those exams in your... Where they got to stick their finger in your butt? Nah. I, sh- I probably should. I'm 40, right? Yeah. You're, you're, you're in that zone. I'm in the fucking, fucking finger in the ass zone. I think it's a little more than a finger. Really? I think You've done it? I've not done it. I've been a doctor from Norway. You've been putting it off, though. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, when I went to... Go, I've already hit, like... Like, a finger in my ass is nothing new. They they did me like that at uh, to get the hemorrhoid treatment. And my doctor was so fucking... My doctor was so rugged, he didn't even bother throwing lube on his hand. He just was like, yacht! I was like, ah! It was worse than having a hemorrhoid. I was like, hey, I'll just, I'll just keep the fucking hemorrhoid, man. Like, spit on your finger. Do something, bro. Like, that shit hurt. It's like, you need surgery. I was like, no shit. After that, bro. And I'm, I don't even know if he shut the door. That's how fucking, that's how like, that's how little of a fuck my uh, my doctor gave. Yeah, no, I went to the same guy when I had the food poison. Remember when I was like laid up with the food poison and it just wouldn't go away? I just went over there like, I was like, what's wrong with me? He just gave me a piece of bread. He was like, here, have some bread. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you'll be, you'll be fine, have some bread. I'm like, this is, this, that's the answer? You gave me a fucking slice of bread? Like, what the fuck, man? Charged me, too. Like, motherfucker. God. I don't think he's on my insurance. I love that guy. He was fucking awesome. Aside from all of the fucking just fingers in my asshole hole and fucking bread, he did not go fuck. I'm like, hey, I need some painkillers. He'd be like, hey, here. How's Percocet? Perfect, bro. He wouldn't give you Percocet just because? I mean, that's... Isn't that, like, super illegal? I mean, I mean, I had surgery, so <laughs> oh, I was just like, I'm still a little sore. What's he going to do? Tell me I'm not know. sore? Yeah, right? <laughs> Finger me again? I'm like, bro, I'm sore. This donut I'm sitting on ain't doing a trick. Give me some fucking, give me some fucking, fucking Vikes. I started off with the Vikes, and I was like, oh, it's making my stomach hurt. Do you have anything else, maybe? I was like, I've got the Percocet. He sounded like Dracula. He's like, I've got the Percocet. <laughs> Fucking gave it to me. Is that it for the fucking shit? Yeah, oh, that's then, it. That's well, pretty just much give it. me one more. Peroni's disease. I don't even know what the fuck that is. When you've got uh, your your erect penis, it's curved. I mean, that's just you know. That just that might be helpful. It might help you hit that G spot. Well, you might have a slight curve, but when that it's Gonzo m- dick. When it's more pronounced, then you're got- dragging on that motherfucker. In the back. Boop. Boop. Give me another story, you fucking John. There's some parents. They're upset about the Peter Rabbit movie. And Peter. Specifically, there's this scene where the the rabbits um go after the farmer and then toss berries at him and he's allergic to these blackberries and one goes in uh his mouth and then he struggles with an EpiPen and then goes into anaphylactic shock and collapses. <laughs> For real? It's a little surprising, I guess. I don't know. So they're mad about that shit? Especially those who have kids that are oh, allergic. Oh my god, with the fucking kids and the fucking Oh, be sensitive to my kid's fucking retardedness. Oh, my kid's weak. My child is weak, therefore you need to adjust everything. Do you guys remember, like, the fucking shit we grew up on? You see Cinderella? They whooped her ass, man. It was fucking hard on you. Have you seen Bambi? It starts off... I know, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad. Bambi's mom gets fucking shot. Bambi's mom is like, fucking run to the thicket. Clack, 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 clack. Run to the thicket. Like, fucking mom's, like, you couldn't even do that anymore. Go look at the original Grimm's fairy tales. That shit is fucking rugged, dude. The OG Cinderella? When when the stepsisters are trying to get the fucking shoe to fit? You know, like, she drops her shoe. The prince goes around the kingdom trying to find the princess, uh, trying to find whoever shoe it is. And Cinderella gets locked in a room and like the stepsisters, you know what they do to get their fucking shoe to fit? 
They chop off their fucking toes. They chop off their heel. That's fucking... Like, that was a kid's story back in the day. And then once she got married to the fucking prince, you know what happened? Fucking birds pecked out the sister's eyes. <laughs> Grim's fairy tales. Grim as fuck. They didn't give a fuck. Nowadays, it's like, oh, someone's allergic to blackberries. We can't have that because my son's fucking, my son might die from a peanut. I don't want him to fucking feel bad. Well, this mom would say you're part of the problem. You're not, you're not taking it seriously. Fuck you. Fuck your child. I'm sorry that there's stuff in, uh, stuff in there that's going to make you feel a bit uncomfortable. Do you understand that there's nothing, that, that, w- that we can pick apart anything? Show me a fucking movie, I'll find you, I'll show you, I guarantee, I'll find you something to get offended of, of. You give me any fucking movie, I'll show you something to get offended of. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, she gives up her voice so that she can fuck the prince. You're not thinking of the the mute. The fucking, the dumb are up underrepresented. Dumb as in can't speak. Give me, like, I can do that all day. Dumbo. Promotes fucking animal slavery and locking up of mothers. Not to mention the fucking crows, which is going to bum out half the, uh, half the black people. Like, just get, oh, I, I forgot fucking, about that. Fucking, just give me, <laughs> just, give me a fucking movie. I'll tell you, I'll give you a reason to fucking cry, dog. We, that is a sign that we are in a fucking, that is a sign that you are in a privileged society. When you're nitpicking fucking movies to death. Fuck you, you crying ass mom, and fuck your child. Complain. You're the reason why no one can eat fucking peanut butter sandwiches at goddamn at, in, in, at elementary school anymore. I mean, I, I sort of see the point, sort of, that she's, that people are making, but they get so emotional online. Dog. On Twitter, it's crazy. I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. But look at that top lady if you want to call her out. What a disgrace. Teaching children it's okay to bully and harass others with food <laughs> allergies. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, and she looks like it fucking, <laughs> the fucking, with the fucking purple, not my fucking president haircut and the fucking shitty glasses. Slightly fucking overweight. Can't control her caloric intake. Sorry that you, sorry that you birthed a weak child. Oh, it's not my fault because of blah, blah, blah. The chemicals in the wheat. Fuck out of here, dude. Like, even if all that's true, like, just fucking, yo, it's not that deep. You got nothing else to complain about? Sony, they are caving. I bet you, I bet, I bet you her kitchen isn't all the way clean. Go clean, go clean the rest of your house. Go make sure your kid's room is clean before you start talking that shit to me. Is your fucking allergic kid's toys put away? Handle your shit before you start fucking complaining about Peter the Rabbit, for fuck's sake, dude. Oh, you triggered me. Sony's apologized, though. They sincerely regret not being more aware and sensitive to the issue, and we truly apologize. That was a... The more... See, I'm tired of the... I'm tired of these companies apologizing. It justifies these stupid fucking positions that people are taking. Oh. If you're listening, your kid's fucking got some type of fucking allergy. Sorry. Like, it must be hard. It's a bummer. Like, that being said, quit policing fucking art. Maybe maybe weird things like that will give you a chance to have a conversation and have dialogue with your children about about uncomfortable situations that they will that they will encounter in their life instead of complaining on fucking Twitter to to fucking Sony. How's that? Seems logical. What do I know? Can't wait can't wait for that kid to grow up. Can't wait to work alongside that kid. He's not going to be a total fucking bitch. Give me something else. There's this lady, Bella DePaulo. She's a psychologist here in California. 
Bell of the Bello. And she goes around and, and gives these talks about why it's good to be single. And then Science Alert put together. Uh, Is she single too? I guarantee it. I'm fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, well, it's good to sacrifice everything for your career, and I'm going to go around and fucking tell you why I'm so happy. <laughs> Bottle of wine later. She gave a, a talk at, uh, what's this, TEDx talk uh, called Living Single. It's, uh, oh, she's happily ever after. Uh, but anyway, she's... I don't know, man. I live single. I'm a fucking mess. There's no one there to check my behavior. You should see me like that. If there was a fucking camera in my home, like on a Tuesday night, you would be surprised at the shit I'm doing. Oh, I'm no a fucking doubt. maniac, dude. I, yeah. When I'm alone, things get much worse. Oh, boy. And I've got somebody to keep an eye on. I know. I That's know. There's fucking joys of being single. Give me a break. I hear you, but, uh, yeah. Damn, Ted, Ted X let her on there spewing her shit. Give me, give me a couple reasons. Supposedly, we've got stronger social networks, and friends are important as we get older. So they're saying that we reach out to other people more often and connect with them rather than single people who are living in that sort of cloistered environment or something. I don't even know what cloister means. All what right, the just, fuck? Why are you using these words? Sorry. What's uh, cloister mean? Uh, when you're sort of in that enclosed environment, sort of just uh, in that, that family unit. But if you're single, you're out there with more people. Okay. So that's what she's being single is important. Number two. Oh, there, that was, I, thought that, that was, I, thought, I thought that was it. There, no, there's no, more. Uh, Wait, there's more. Also, you were uh, fitter. So yeah, because you're you know, exercising. Yeah, you got to yeah, you got you got to stay fucking attractive for people to want to date you. And you don't like you're not like fucking going you're not like fucking pigging out with your spouse and just sitting around. That makes sense. What else? And also several studies suggest that uh you're more creative and you have more alone time to sort of uh, oh I wrote two books being single. See? Yeah, I wrote two books. If you're married, I wouldn't have that time. But, like, there's benefits of having, like, a significant other. I don't know if that, I don't know what outweighs what. Like, coming home, like, having someone to talk to. I don't know. That's kind of nice. Doing things with. In-house pussy or in-house dick, if you will. Do you think Less having... Less worry about disease. Do you think having a... A wife would clean you up, or would you still? Oh, uh, it would probably, it would probably make me. <laughs> I don't know any wife that would fucking deal with the shit I do right now. Let's be real. <laughs> I don't know how long she would tolerate that shit. She'd be like, "What are you doing, dude? It is Wednesday. Calm down. <laughs> fucking calm down." Everything's a trade-off. Everything in this world is a trade-off. Like, what are you willing to trade? You, you can weigh that out on your own. For some reason, the researchers at uh, Georgia Tech, they looked at uh, selfies and who posts them the most. Or like sort of the general trends. And they looked at 2.5 million selfies posted online. Damn. I was a selfie posting motherfucker. I haven't posted a selfie in a while. But yeah, actually, I did. I just posted one on s Saturday of me holding my friend's child to show that I'm not such a piece of shit. It's totally calculated. Totally calculated. And I still look like a piece of shit. Now, they categorized uh, these uh, people who post selfies into 15 uh, subsets, ranging from appearance, showing off one's makeup, lips, body, that kind of thing, to social, health and fitness, travel. Oh, yeah, gangs. Among others. Fucking gangs. Fucking gains. Hashtag gains. That guy gets on my fucking nerves, dude. Me going to the gym. It's not enough for me to lift weights. I got to fucking tell you about it. <laughs> Hashtag gains. Fucking worked out so hard. Lips. And the data showed that more than half, almost 52% of the selfies surveyed fell into the appearance category. So you're out there saying, look how hot I am. Yeah. Yeah. But no. your your seems to fit in the social category. Social selfies that um, you snap with friends, family, and significant others, or even pets, comprise about fourteen percent of the pictures. I mean, yeah. Have you ever seen me go, come on, like doing the IG story or my Snapchat stories? I look like shit in the morning. I am not. I do not look good at all. It's pre shower. Fucking hair's fucked up. Sleep in my eyes. I just start talking shit. 
I look crazy. I'm gonna go fuck. Yo, fuck, son. Fuck that lady with the Peter Rabbit bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck her, man. That's a new You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. That's was, that show. That's German. For that was the show. Ich mich ein sheesh. I think that's fucking Japanese. But Kraftwerk used it. Ich mich. Why are you fucking do- I'm pulling it up right now. Let me show you. T- I swear to God. Look, fuck that song. Let me put on this. Ich mich ein sheesh. See, look, I ain't lying. I ain't lying, bitch. Ice, 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 ice. They used to speed this shit up and dance to it back in the in Detroit. Turn that shit up, hold up, man. Turn that shit up, man. Why you bullshit, man? Why you bullshit? 